Good morning. Welcome back. 740 now. Drug companies have gotten the green light and now they're ready to start producing the vaccines for the upcoming flu season. The Food and Drug Administration has approved the vaccines for the particular strains expected to hit the U.S. this flu season. This year, experts are expecting at least three different strains of the flu. But don't worry, you'll only have to get one shot to cover all three. That is good news. Joining us this morning is Dr. John Viasis with the Austin Diagnostic Clinic. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks again for the invitation. Sure. Well, you're here to talk a little bit about what we just talked about, flu vaccines and what people can do to prepare, right? Right. Well, we're going to be doing, um, this for, from an allergy perspective, uh, you know, flu vaccines are very important uh, for the management of, of um, the, uh, uh, you know, every year millions of people have are exposed to the flu vaccine. Uh, and there's many deaths associated with them. It's not too early to start talking about this because now is the time to, for us to start uh, thinking about those uh, those things during during the upcoming flu season. But the summer is also, in addition to that, that's something what we're pre pre preparing for. But in the summertime, lots of kids have allergies, lots of people have allergies, and they can be allergic to things outside, bee stings, wasp stings, things like that. Right. Yeah, we can talk about that as well. I think that, that from a fire amp perspective, uh, we, we have uh, one of the biggest things that we're seeing right now is uh, uh, patients coming in with fire ant uh, allergies. Uh, over this past uh, summer, I've seen at least four or five people have, that have significant allergic reaction to the fire ants. And so summertime, even though the pollens are not very high right now, uh, we're seeing a lot of other things that can, can affect our allergies. Is that a new yeah. thing, getting being allergic to fire ants, or is that something that people have suffered with for many, many years? Right, not, uh, not at all. I mean, the, the fire ants are something that's not native to Texas, actually not native to the U.S. Uh, overall, we, in about the last 70, 80 years or so, we had the introduction of fire ants into this country, and they've pretty much spread all over the southern U.S., uh, and they've caused uh, significant problems with not just farming and, and, and damage, but also uh, in patients that I see, uh, significant uh, allergy to the fire ant stinks. And fire ants are pretty aggressive, aren't they? Awfully aggressive. I mean, uh, they are uh, very territorial, and, 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 uh, and it just takes one sting to cause significant reactions. And these reactions are things that, uh, for example, an allergic reaction that we worry about are folks that have, uh, you know, they get stung and within a few minutes start having lip swelling, tongue swelling, throat swelling, coughing, wheezing. Uh, those, uh, you know, those kinds of symptoms. Uh, most people that get stung just have a small local reaction. However, it becomes very dangerous uh, when people start having significant uh, systemic allergic reaction. Sounds like a reaction to peanuts and, and pecans, things like that. Your mouth swells, your, your um, inside, you know, the, your esophagus begins to swell, then your inside begins to swell. Yeah, and it's, it's a very sudden reaction. Yeah. And patients can have no reactions before with, with any fire ant stings, but then all of a sudden they start having uh, a reaction for some unknown reason. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here this morning. If you need more information or you want to visit uh, Dr. Viasis, you can do that at the Austin Diagnostic Center. He is an allergist, of course. His number is 901-4002, and you can also visit their website at adclinic.com.